Hi students, welcome to my channel Thoughts of Physics. In the video series of Ray Optics, in this class, I am going to explain refraction and spherical surface. Or this is also known as relation between U, V, N, R. Where U is object distance V, image distance N, refractive index of the medium or radius of curvature of the spherical surface. So let us consider a spherical surface of radius of curvature R. Okay, and the refractive index of that spherical surface, that medium is N. Now let us consider the spherical surface like this. This is the spherical surface. Spherical surface. Now let us draw the principal axis. This is the principal axis. So the spherical surface, let us <coughs> label it as M, N, M, N is the spherical surface, right. Let us consider an object is on the principal axis. This is the object, O. O is the object. To obtain the image of this object, okay, so two light rays can be used. A light ray from this object incident on the spherical surface like this. So whenever this light ray incident on the spherical surface, that light ray undergoes refraction. Due to the refraction, it changes its path. It changes its path when it travels from one medium to another medium. The refractive index of this medium, let us say the spherical surface, the medium refractive index is N. Right. Now, when it is travelling from one medium to another medium, it changes its path like it, okay changes its path and finally let us say at point I, okay, it forms, let us say image, I is the image. Now, so two light rays we need, so one light ray which is traveling along the principal axis, let, let us say this is the light ray, this is the light ray. Now, at point I, image is formed, right. Now, let us draw the normal at point N normal to this spherical surface at point n. So if you want to draw the normal, okay, so how to draw the normal at any point means by joining the point with the center of curvature. Let us say this point is the center of curvature, let us say C, C is the center of curvature. If you join the point and the center of curvature, that gives the normal at that point. This is the normal at that point. Let us say this point is N. Mn is the spherical surface. Now, this is the normal. Already we know that the angle of incidence. The angle of incidence is the angle between incident ray and the normal. So, this is incident ray and this is the normal. So, now this angle is called angle of incidence. Let us say that is I. Now, the angle between refractor ray and normal. This is our refractor ray. This is the refractor ray. The angle between refractor ray and normal is called angle of refraction. That is denoted by, let us say, this is, this is R. This is the normal and this is refractor ray. That is the R. That is angle of refraction. Now, consider the angles here. Angle at O, angle at C, angle at I. Now, here from this figure, let us consider triangles. So now from the triangle, from the triangle, from the triangle N, O, M, from the triangle N, O, M, from the triangle N, O, M. I am taking tan N, O, M, tan N, O, M. N, O, M means the angle at O. N, O, M means the angle at O. So tan n o m. We know the formula of tan theta. Opposite side by adjacent side. So the angle at o. Okay. The opposite side is m n. So the opposite side is m n. By adjacent side is m o. Adjacent side is m o. Okay. Generally this m n. Okay. Generally we consider as straight line. That's why it forms triangles then. So now this is tan n o m the value. Now if theta is small. 
if theta is small, we can consider tan n o m can be taken as n o m. Tan theta is equal to theta like that. So similarly, here we get tan n o m becomes n o m. n o m is equal to m n by m o. This is the value of angle at O. That is angle N O M. Similarly, from the triangle, from the triangle, from the triangle angle N C M. N C M. This is another triangle. This is N O M. This is N C M. From the triangle N C M, again take tan. tan n c m tan theta opposite side by adjacent side so for this n c m angle at c opposite side is m n again m n by adjacent side is m c m c this is tan n c m similarly angle n c m also it becomes m n by M C M N by M C because if theta is small, tan theta become theta. So now the angle N O M angle N C M we determine. Next, take another triangle N I M triangle N I M from the triangle N I M from the triangle from the triangle N I M. N I M from the triangle N I M. Take tan N I M. N I M means angle at I. So tan N I M that is equal to tan theta opposite side by adjacent side. So opposite side. Okay, for this N I M angle at I that is M N. Adjacent side is M I. So that is M N by M I. If theta is small. Tan N I M can be written as that is N I M that is equal to M N by M I. This is the value of angle N I M. We got all the three values. Next term, let us apply interior angle and exterior angle concept here. So, what is the concept of interior and exterior angle means? If you observe the figure here, I I is angle of incidence. I is angle of incidence. This I is the exterior angle. I is the exterior angle. Exterior angle is equal to the sum of interior angles. We know I is the exterior angle for these two interior angles. That means angle N O M, angle N C M. That means I is the exterior for these two interior. That means I can be written as the sum of these two angles. That means we can write from figure. From figure, I is equal to I is the exterior angle. Okay, that I is equal to sum of these two. Here the angle is N O M. Angle N O M plus sum of interior angle. Angle at C is N C M. Angle N C M. Let us substitute the values of N O M and M C M already we have determined here. Then I is equal to N O M that is M N by M O. N O M is M N by M O plus N C M. N C M value is M N by M C. That is M N by M C. This is the value of I. Similarly, take another exterior angle. Here, see N C M angle at C. Is the exterior angle for these two interior angle? That means R plus N I M. That is angle N C M. Angle at C is the exterior angle. That is angle N C M is equal to the sum of these two interior angles. R plus R plus N I M. R plus N I M. From that, R is equal to. R is equal to take this N I M angle N I M take this N I M this side that is angle N C M minus angle N I M 
then R is equal to and NCM is MN by MC that is MN by MC minus NIM is MN by MI MN by MI this is the value of R now we have determined the values of I and R now let us consider Snell's law so Snell's law if we consider what is Snell's law we know that n1 sin i is equal to n2 sin r n1 sin i is equal to n2 sin r that is from snell's law using snell's law we know that n1 sin i is equal to n2 sin r n1 sin i is equal to n2 sin r so what are these n1 n2 here N1, N2 are the refractive indices of the mediums. Let us say the refractive indices of the mediums. So, this rarer medium refractive index is N1. Denser medium refractive index is N2. That means the light ray takes place the refraction at the rarer to denser interface. The light ray undergoing refraction here from rarer medium to denser medium. Rarer to denser interface. So, this medium refractive index is N1, this medium refractive index is N2. Now, if ang theta is small, you can write sin i can be written as i, sin r can be written as r. That means N1 into i is equal to N2 into r. If theta is small, if theta is small, theta means angles, any angle that may be, that is small. Now, let us substitute N1 into i. The value of i here we have determined here. That is, let us substitute that. The value of i is m n by m o plus m n by m c. This is the value of i. That is equal to n two into r. R value already we have determined here. That is m n by m c minus m n by m i. This is the value of R. We have substituted I value and R value. Next term, in all the terms, M, N is common. Let us take common and cancel. After cancellation of that MN, what we will get that is N1 into 1 by MO plus 1 by MC is equal to N2 into MN get cancelled here, 1 by mc minus 1 by m i after can, uh, cancellation of that m n term from all the terms we will get this formula now let us multiply this n1 into the term that is n1 into now let us multiply that n1 that is n1 by mo n1 by mo plus n1 by mc is equal to n2 by mc, n2 uh, multiplied similarly, that minus n2 by mi. I have done, see this one, n1 I have multiplied, n1 by mo, n1 by mc is equal to, if I multiply this n2, n2 by mc minus n2 by mi. Let us take all mc terms one side. That means, so already we have this mc, if you take this one, this side, it is positive, it becomes negative. Here, N2 by MI, if you take this side, it is minus, it becomes plus. That means, if you are rearranging the terms, what we will get here? N1 by MO. N1 by MO. This one. So, I just remains the same. Now, this minus, it becomes plus. Plus N2 by MI is equal to. Now, already it is there, N2 by MC. N2 by mc already is there now let us take this plus n1 by mc that side it becomes minus n1 by mc now right next one Okay, N1 by MO, as it is I am writing that N1 by MO plus 
L2 by Mi. L2 by Mi. That is equal to, I have taken Mc, that is LCM, Mc in the numerator N2 minus N1. N2 minus N1. So let it be equation 1. We have not given any equations before. Equation number 1. Now let us get the values of this from the figure. Right. MO. MO. MO means from M that is the from spherical surface to object. It can be considered as object distance that is U. Next MI. From the spherical surface to I. I means image. That can be taken as image distance V. Next MC. MC means from spherical surface to center of curvature that can be taken as radius of curvature R. Next, MO. MO means from M to object that is object distance. It is measured in the opposite direction of incident ray. That's why it is taken negative. So that means MO is equal to minus U. Minus means Cartesian sign convention according to that. If the distances are measured in a direction opposite to the incident ray taken as negative. Next, MI. From M to I. It is measured in the same direction of incident light, so plus. That means M i, M i can be taken as V, that is plus V only, because it is same direction. Next, M c, M c means R, it is also measured in the same direction of incident light, that's why M c can be taken as plus R. Now, let us substitute all these values in the expression 1, that is, from the first equation implies N 1 by M o is minus U, plus N2 by Mi is V is equal to N2 minus N1 by that is Mc that is R. If we are rearranging the terms, we get positive terms that is N2 by V minus N1 by U is equal to N2 minus N1 by R. This is the final expression that is the relation between UV and NOR or the refraction at spherical surface. Refraction means the refraction at rarer to denser interface. The refraction at rarer to denser interface. You can find the formula for the refraction at denser to rarer interface also. And this is about refraction at spherical surface or it is also known as relation between UV and NOR. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comment section. For latest updates, subscribe and click the bell icon. Thank you.